Greetings YouTube, welcome to Zero AD Newbie Rush. I'm Jim Kogan and we have another midweek duel for you. Uh, excellent game that's been submitted to me. Let's go through the players really quickly. In the north of this, what looks like either normal, I think it's a normal or medium sized map. Looks pretty big for, for medium, but it's definitely a mainland map. We are in... I think it's the savannah biome. So lots of scattered wood lines, lots of hunt. Our competitors in the green, in the north, we have Weird Jokes rated 1,463, playing as the Ptolemies. And all the way down in the south, playing as the Morians, we have Scapo rated 1,358. So with ratings, a uh, slight advantage on paper to uh, Weird Jokes in the north. North. As we are seeing the uh, the developmental setup here, it's a large group of female citizens going straight onto food. No berry upgrade for weird jokes. A uh, little bit of addition of cavalry for uh, Scapo in the south, although they're not doing very much. I think he is going to utilize the worker elephant yes, and uh, all of this hunt that's over here. We have lots of elephants, uh, pretty much herds of element elephants all over the place. So a good map for hunt. Cavalry is almost certainly going to be a feature as we're seeing here. Yes, Five, please. six of them for Scapo and the worker elephant is moving over that way. I suspect we will see infrastructure buildings down here. Interestingly, Scapo not gone for any kind of a food uh, situation in terms of berries or farming straight off the bat. I think he's seen the elephants and is ripping straight into them. They are going to fund his early economy. Um, first, you have to kill the elephants and uh, <laughs> that's causing him a few problems. He's lost a cow. I can have a person in there somewhere fighting these elephants. The others look a bit nonplussed. So interesting. Well, we've got a little break in proceedings. We see one of those cavalry yes, guys doing a bit of scouting. Interestingly, Weird Jokes has uh, produced some cavalry as well. It's got four of them. So as predicted, it's, uh, it's going to be a, a cavalry centric game. I have a feeling. Uh, so we have four camel archers. Are they going out to hunt? Or are they going out to cause trouble? I think we will see rating, uh, raiding a plenty. Looks like they are hunting from distance. Uh, they're not the most effective hunters, the uh, camel archers. This could take a while. How long does it take four camel archers to bring down an elephant? We shall find out. While we are watching this, uh, just a quick reminder, uh, Zero AD Newbie Rush still needs you to submit your replays for future games. Uh, I think we're booked up until nearly halfway through January, but lots of openings. Uh, we are looking for 4v4s. I tend to broadcast those on Sundays. Um, Midweek games such as this one can be pretty much anything. It's not limited to 1v1. I do 2v2s, 3v3s. May even do uh, 4v4s if uh, there is a, a gap in the schedule and I've got too many 4v4 replays. I could broadcast them then. Um, they do take a bit longer to produce though. Also, if anybody does free-for-all games, I am trying to resurrect the free-for-all Friday. I uh, did two episodes of that. It's very popular, but uh, not many people seem to like playing free-for-all. I think it's the kind of lawlessness of it and that you have no allies at all. Everyone is an enemy, but it's quite exciting to watch and uh, would love to see a bit more uh, free-for-all. So anybody wants to submit a free-for-all, we can resurrect free-for-all Friday. Let's get back to the game while we're looking at this. So we have a large cavalry yes, contingent please. of Scapo scouting around. I think they have bad intentions in mind. They are approaching the base as the camel archer. We know how long it takes for a camel archer, a group of camel archers to take down some elephants. They've taken two down. In come the cavalry. And I think these camel archers priorities are going to shift very, very quickly as they come in. What soft targets have we got? We've got two infantry guys here, and one of them has already gone. So first, first kill registered for Scapo. The uh, the greater range of the camel archers will prove uh, a factor here. They're still killing elephants as the yeah, cavalry of uh, Scapo go in on 
citizens, infantry, female citizens in the mid has lost another one. Four kills, plays none. So early advantage in terms of uh, in terms of sheer aggression going to Scapo. Would have thought he could have hung around a bit more there because, uh, like I said, there are a few people in the CC, but there are some soft targets dotted around the board. Uh, so worth scouting around. Where have they gone? Have they gone back to hunting? Yeah, looks like, uh, well, Scapo has an excess of food. I would have thought he could have maintained a harassing presence. He's scouting with his other cavalry guy, who's still carrying food, I haven't dropped that off. Has found another herd of elephants here, and I think he's about to discover this one. So is his plan to basically take the food, the biggest food source, away from Weird Jokes? I don't think Weird Jokes is going to be too bothered if that's the case. I think he's much happier that he doesn't have uh, dozens of cavalry raining in on him constantly through phase one. So possibly with that amount of cavalry, Scapo has let him off the hook a little. Uh, we'll see how that bears out. Well, we have a little lull in proceedings. As per usual, the other bit of news that we've got is this coming Friday, Christmas Day, 7 p.m. Uh, GMT, is the first ever Zero AD uh, Newby Rush Christmas special. We have a 1v1 game featuring uh, pretty much the best Zero AD player on the planet, without a doubt. Yes, it is Borg. We have a Borg match that is going to be broadcast. It was uh, helpfully submitted. Alas, Borg himself has not submitted any of his games to me, but somebody else has witnessed one of his games and sent me the replay. And I thought that will do nicely for Christmas. Thank you very much. So there is a chance to watch Borg play, uh, play in his trade and being generally awesome at zero AD as usual on Christmas day, seven o'clock is the premiere. You don't have to uh, specifically be there for the premiere. I will try and make it and say hello to as many people as I can, um, but you are then able to watch it anytime on demand. It goes, uh, becomes a normal U uh, YouTube video after that point. And uh, it's gonna be good. It's a really fantastic game. Right, let's get back to the match. We're back to uh, camels picking on the remains of dead uh, elephants. And what are Scapo's, uh, Scapo's cavalry up to? They are doing much the same. They've taken a bit more of a battering. So they haven't really healed up after that attack and the run-ins with other elephants. So anybody close to phasing out population wise it's still pretty close weird jokes has actually got the edge on this he's got 49 uh population plays 44 for scapo 16 of those are infantry versus nine infantry for scapo and it's 15 infantry of scapo plays it's just changed place 16 so um Weird Jokes has actually got the drop on Scapo in terms of all the uh, all the metrics. It's a big population lead, an infantry lead, and it's only one, but it's a cavalry lead. I don't know which cavalry we'd prefer yeah, to yeah. have at our disposal. Uh, so here we have light range cavalry versus the camel archers, which uh, good range, but not that effective but if you get enough of them then they can pepper you from distance they are they are good enough i think we have farming well and truly underway although not uh nobody's yeah no female citizens actually on the farms at the moment they're still house building and hunting the uh the main main enterprise is going on here a little bit of mining has started as you would expect a little bit of uh, metal mining What's coming out of the CC? More camel archers. So uh, incredible amount of camel archers about to appear. So we've got 13 there already and another 12 due to come out. So that's quite a number. No barracks. Yeah, oh no, there is one at the back there. Uh, nothing coming out at the moment. Looks like it's making individual uh, pipemen at this point. The uh, the mobile 
the mobile cavalry with the elephant have uh, piled into these elephants over here and are gathering food so masses masses of food on both sides uh, massive excess of food uh, weird joke seems to have the balance right he no longer has population lead it's 69 for scapo plays 66 and interestingly we almost missed that one the uh the the big influx of camel 16 camel archers are now coming in to hassle scapo uh while his cavalry are over there killing elephants uh in comes weird jokes to try and get some revenge for that earlier raid he's got his first two kills now it's all female citizens it's infrastructure uh, kills in come the cavalry and there is a camels versus light cavalry dust up in the middle but even more camel archers coming in this is going to be a force that these guys are not going to be able to repel they are being tentative trying to keep them away it's four kills for weird jigs plays the five kills for scapo they've all piled into the cc but there are a number of very soft targets towards the south of uh, Scapo's base. But, I mean, they could get in quite close here and, and take out anybody they feel like, I think. And they have a massive numerical advantage, 27 camel archers. They're on the blind side of the base. They really want to be on this side. What do we got here? Three infantry, uh, looks like archer, longbowmen, and five female citizens, and a few of those are not going to make it home for Christmas. There they go. Out come the cavalry, and they are being decimated almost instantly. When there is a lot of the camel archers, it's like a sea of arrows. You can see them in the replay. Um, what does Scaper do about this? I think he's in a bit of trouble. He's trying desperately to make more cavalry. I guess the idea is you try and outnumber the cavalry force. Sadly, they've gone straight into elephants and he's lost a few of them that have just appeared. So he's fighting elephants in his base and this uh, conglomeration of uh, camel archers who've barely taken a hit. There's next to no damage on them. And they're now coming into the north. There are some infantry here and the horses all respond. 21 of them now, so it's a bit more of a close fight. But they are taking, they're taking the hits. The range of the camels is so great that uh, before before they get in range they've got a few successful hits on this light infantry and they start losing them so uh are they going to follow them all the way back it's a whole train of camels followed by a train of infantry so things flicking backwards and forwards now it's 11 kills for weird jokes plays just those five for uh scapo and i think Scapo doesn't fancy following it all the way back to the base because a whole load of infantry have come out and now it's turned full circle again. If these guys carry on, uh, that's going to be quite a dominant force. As I said, Weird Jokes is ahead pretty much in everything. Um, population is 88 plays 84, so it is, it is actually quite close, but 31 infantry plays 17. Uh, Scapo has managed to spam out uh, 31 cavalry uh, and that's playing the 27 camel archers that uh, Weird Jokes has got. How is this going to balance out? Are they just going to just gradually run up and down opposite sides of the map? Interestingly, Weird Jokes, who has been able to focus on infrastructure more, has got to phase, got to phase two and we are going to start seeing phase two buildings very soon i think that could be his strategy is just to keep scapo tied up um inhibit his uh all of his development and basically uh leave him far behind while he goes through the phases uh population wise 99 plays 90 and scapo's managed to pop cap himself so somebody needs to build a house and pretty urgently. Still stuck and is being attacked at the same time. That's not good. To 
all of the cavalry out now. It is a bigger cavalry force, and I think Weird Jokes will have to be another retreat. Any sign of any phase two buildings going up? No sign of market or additional barracks or towers. Looks like Weird Jokes does not expect to be attacked. And this time Scapo does not give chase as he, some of his cavalry are looking much the worse for wear. I think he'd be much better off taking the, uh, the, the sickest cavalry out of there and healing them up. The camel archers are, are they hunting or are they coming to try and flank on this side? This is definitely the more vulnerable side. If they end up down here, that is kills all day long. Um, I think Scapo is going to be caught off guard here. They're still looting the remains of these dead elephants within the perimeter of the base. Uh, weird jokes just hanging back a little. Uh, sending one right. Is this distractions? Does he split them into two groups or are they going back to gather food? There is a bit of a food shortage at... Uh, uh, weird jokes uh, base he's gonna need more food I think he's been slow establishing farms he's hardly established them at all so I think they're gonna try and do some hunting but they have found an easy target down here but no sooner did they come in than the uh, this mass of cavalry how many are there now that's 49 nearly 50 cavalry uh, all come out and they are trying to cut off this escape this is quite clever play um, Weird Jokes knows if he just runs straight across they will take hits constantly so he's running in the opposite direction but they're trying to outflank them I think he's going to lose a few here still 13 kills place 6 in favour of Weird Jokes over Scapo they've done quite well not to lose too many numbers doing that loop the loop he lost one there that's for sure and a straggler there so they are getting picked off so not an effective attack that time from Weird Jokes, but has it achieved his objective? Has He's still struggling for food, funnily enough. It's very low uh, low food numbers. From being the, the biggest excess, both sides are now struggling a bit for food. Uh, you can understand how Scapo ended up with low food. He's made over 50 cavalry in about two and a half minutes. Are they going to come in and actually give some hassle back now? There are quite a few vulnerable targets to go after. He split them into two groups. So I think we're going to see quite a clever flanking uh, flanking routine here. Uh, but the, one lot trying to capture this tower. And that's short-lived because they've garrisoned it straight away. They're now all fighting within the shadow of this tower. Not the place to be, to be perfectly honest. They have turned around the kill count. It's now 17 kills and counting plays 14. 18 plays 14 in favour of Scapo. So not perhaps... Uh, uh, it was successful, but not as successful. Scapo has managed also to phase up as well while we've been watching this. But uh, I don't understand why Scapo decided to go into the most reinforced bit of the base. He could have sent them round the sides. He's got enough cavalry there to divide them into three groups and attack from three different sides and absolutely pull weird jokes from pillar to post. As it is, Weird Jokes is fighting this off. He's got two towers and that is a market going up. He only needs one more to be able to get to phase three. Uh, and the infantry now are uh, are making a bit of light work. Ooh, where, are, uh, where are the cavalry? So it looks like most of Weird Jokes cavalry have, have retreated a little. Are they back inside? Yeah, 19 of them holding back and healing up. They come back out now. Scapo decides to pull back, but he's being pursued by small amounts of cavalry. Uh, sorry, small amounts of infantry, which they're going to kill straight away. So 35 kills plays 29. But uh, the bigger picture is that I much more fancy the position of weird jokes instead in the in terms of the infrastructure he's got the market up 
He is going to phase three. So it's happening. Uh, yeah, we have a blacksmith at the back. I don't think he's upgraded anything yet, but he has clearly stolen a march. The cavalry come in again. Again, it's in one group. Uh, another lot have gone back to kind of heal up. These guys are going in and they're getting some peripheral kills here. They might go in on the fields, but they're just, they're too tentative. They're just hanging around at the edges. There's nothing out there for them. If they come in on the fields now, the camel archers are here. There are uh, troops inside the CC. They will be taking damage anywhere within this perimeter if they come in. And that will offset any gains they might have. How close is Scapo to get into phase three? He's nowhere near. He still needs another building. So, yeah. And Weird Jokes is reaching phase three right now. So he reaches phase three on 90 minutes, 47 seconds. So a bit of a slow moving game. The camel and uh, infantry duels have slowed down development of both sides. But uh, Weird Jokes has, albeit not a fully staffed set of farms, he's got all the various income streams he needs coming. He's definitely got mining sorted, wood sorted. Um, yeah food would be the only thing he perhaps needs to focus on all the elephants have gone I think there isn't, isn't much to choose from this side of the map so he may run short of numbers if he runs short of food yes, and a bit of a standoff happening now they can see each other they know where they are but they're uh, they're just posturing uh, the uh, the camel archers of weird jokes are happy to fight within the shadow of the tower two towers here they run straight yeah escapist cavalry is running straight into a crossfire kill zone there so they're going to be taking uh flak from both towers at once they're already pretty beat up the numbers are down um you'd have to question the logic of that that is the one place you would not want to send your especially weakened cavalry through and in that place is going the fortress so you would say so far, if you take away the uh, take away the the cavalry battle, in terms of an economic build, it's been pretty standard. Uh, Weird jokes has got the, uh, the phase two buildings down, got phase three, is putting the fortress straight up. I expect we will see uh, elephants. Uh, are we going to see? Uh, are we going to see an expansion from Weird Jokes? Uh, no sign of anything like that from Scapo. Is he still struggling for resources? He's definitely struggling for wood. He's only got small wood lines on the go. These are only scattered wood lines. He's not really developed in a way to get lots of them. Lots of inefficient work happening here. They're uh, not really properly utilizing the mobile drop sites. Both elephants there, so there isn't a lot of multitasking going on. Scaper seems to be happy to... Oh, he's hunting miles out here to get food. Uh, send one of the elephants up. Don't quite understand. Don't quite understand why they're doing that. Um, it is quite an inefficient way to play and I think we are seeing a big difference. He has got the population lead. He's got 137 plays 115. But Weird Jokes has got the edge on infantry. 62 plays 50. And it's 38 infantry for Scapo plays 20... Is that 23 or 28? Looks like 23 left for uh, Weird Jokes. But I think Weird Jokes is past the infantry side, uh, past the cavalry side of things. I think it's now about infantry. What is he producing? He's got the one barracks up there. He's not producing anything at the moment. So a bit of a slow, uh, a slow development uh, time for him. His infrastructure is good. Nothing coming out of the fortress and only odd uh, slingers coming out of this barracks. What we see in what we see in here is this scouting. There's nothing to hunt over there. There's a few deer, but uh, scouting with an entire army of cavalry archers on the flank there. I guess if you're going to run into any problems, best to have safety in numbers.
strangely, Scapo is still pursuing this. We he's got a third elephant coming out here now. So he's got three collecting elephants or three uh, drop site elephants. He's not sending them to where it matters. You'd think one over here would be good. Now, interestingly, the cavalry armies are going to, uh, the cavalry forces are going to run into each other. They actually cross paths in the middle of the map. Now, you would have to say, yes, Scapo must know that, uh, that Weird Jokes is at phase three. He will now shortly see the, uh, he will see the fortress. He again goes into this most defended area. There's some soft kills here. There's a few, uh, looks like a, what are these? These are mercenary skirmishers. There's a few easy kills there for him. He's got the drop on kills, 42 plays 34. But what is he genuinely gonna gain from this? Uh, coming out of the fortress, nothing at the moment. But we are surely gonna see, yeah, there is a, a bolt shooter there. So this is an impenetrable area. There is absolutely no point taking your cavalry in here. You will be slaughtered. Um, and he's still doing it. I don't understand. Why does he not split his forces up, try and smash up these houses, come around here, take out, work on the infantry, attack the fields? Has he, he hasn't managed to get to phase three. He's now going to phase three. It's quite a few, it's 25 minutes in. So five minutes after, Weird Jokes hasn't really been able to properly take advantage of this. He's got, he's got a catapult out as well. So as soon as that starts shooting, there's absolutely nothing these guys can do. They're content to try and contest the middle of the map. They're not exploiting the flanks at all. And I think we are gonna see an expansion. I think they're gonna force the cavalry back and we are gonna see a military colony somewhere here, I think. Scapo could try a flanking maneuver, go round and attack the base while these guys are out there. He must... Uh, must assume there isn't too much in the way of defences could possibly cripple the food supply. He's not doing that though. He's getting involved in a skirmish with the infantry in the middle. Are they now going to do that? What are they? What are they planning? Why would you send them all the way out there when they're bearing down on your territory? Uh, they are now in Scavo's territory, and Scavo's biggest defensive force yes. uh, is over here hunting. Well, they're not even. Are they hunting? I don't know what they're doing. They don't seem to be alive to the danger. He is literally right there with siege weapons. So if they're going to do anything, they've got to do it fast. There's going to be a bloodbath otherwise. Um, Scabo has the uh, the drop on uh, population. He has 162 plays 147. But that uh, kill count of weird jokes is going to start going up exponentially as soon as the uh, the catapult and the bolt shooter start laying into... Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, they, they've, just, uh, they've just packed up. That's a shame. Now the bolt shooter is going. That will be cutting through this uh, already wounded cavalry. Yes, yeah, 64, 60, yeah, 64 kills place for 65 kills place 50. So already that gap is widening. Um, and the population levels have just switched. It's now 141 place 138 and fall in. They're losing at an equal rate. But the, uh, the cavalry is all gone now for Scape. There's just this half dozen here. Uh, that is not looking good. What are we seeing coming out? Here we have elephants. So we have six war elephants. What are they gonna do to be perfectly honest? They're up against uh, ranged infantry, uh, a ranged siege and a, you know, and a catapult. They are not the tools for the job, it has to be said. And things have swung absolutely completely into uh, Weird Joke's favour now. 
So it's 135 population plays 110 in favor of weird jokes. And he's yes, right yes. on uh, more reinforcements coming. He's sending more infantry forward. Yes, I think we're going to see military colony. And I think we're going to see a lot more siege. I think maybe a few more catapults. The catapult is now laying into uh, this barracks. Here comes an elephant. And it's now going the other way. So uh, now it's coming in for the kill. I think you might lose the catapult. But there is the military colony. I think they may sacrifice the catapult in favor of the elephant. But is he going to lose the catapult? He is. But that elephant is not going to live very long either. And neither will these guys. So there is now nothing, nothing to stop him putting this military colony up. Is Scabo trying to reinforce? He's got three elephants there. He has got a large amount of melee troops now coming out of the CC. Has he in any way upgraded his troops? I'm looking for his... Uh... Yeah, there's his blacksmith. No upgrades whatsoever. And I am pretty sure if we have a quick look, there's some elephants not going to live very long there. No upgrades really for weird jokes, to be honest, but uh, weight of numbers is now the thing at the moment. As that military colony goes down, more catapults joining in, and there will be, uh, I'm pretty sure, more siege coming down soon. Let's see what the fortress is doing as those elephants are getting summarily executed. We have a war elephant coming down. He's making them one at a time. He's still pretty low on certain resources. But he's got time, he's got numbers, he's got position. He's got incredible advantages here over Scapo, and I don't think Scapo knows how to deal with this. He is sending some elephants sneakily outside. I think this is to try and hurt the infrastructure. But I mean, once you've got a military colony down, What's he got over there? He has a contingent of uh, people and elephants. It's mostly female citizens. This has the look of somebody who uh, looks pretty desperate and might have to abandon their base fairly soon. Catapults are firing. They are going to take out that barracks there. And it's surely only a matter of time before they attack with greater numbers. What have we got coming up here? Another war elephant going straight down the middle and two that are just hanging out on the side. And these are all workers gathering wood. I don't yeah. think they're in a position to make a new CC. So I I wouldn't want to be Scapo at this point. He really should be focusing his efforts and at this point he's not. He is going to lose his barracks here. He has he got another somewhere? Yeah, he's got another couple over there, one in production and another one there. So he's going to hastily try and spam out troops, but uh, it's 174 population plays 150 for weird jokes. Weird jokes absolutely running away with the population lead, building infrastructure buildings here to strengthen his position. He has. Uh, still just the one catapult and one bolt shooter. Do we have an elephant? Looks like the elephant bit the bullet. No, no, there is an elephant right there. So he has three different types of siege. Lots and lots of infantry, mostly range. It's a good mix of infantry he's got. So he's got Cleopatra in there. The hero is in there as well. What can Scapo do to try and uh, turn this around? He's making longbowmen from the CC, not making anything from his other barracks. This barracks has been well and truly destroyed. In comes the elephant and infantry, and they are making light work of these elephants. That's a dead one. Interestingly, two armored elephants have gone all the way up to Weird Jokes' base, and it looks like they are going to try and take down that CC. And I don't think anybody is going to stop them. And why would they need to? That is of absolutely no tactical importance. This is where the game is going to be won and lost. Um, all Weird Jokes needs to do is take care of the CC and these uh, infantry, which he is doing quite easily. 
kill count, it's 104, oh, it's going up in increments of three or four, it's now 140, 950 kills for Weird Jokes, plays just 84 for Scapo. He's got a population of 164 plays, 124, so Weird Jokes, he is losing people, but he can afford to lose, uh, you know, two to one, basically, and he will he will come out of this the winner the way it's going the catapult is now laying into the cc there are people desperately trying to keep it upright but i think they're gonna have to bow to the inevitable have we got any more siege coming in oh that cc is gone one of the elephants is getting taken down by a load of females since the other one Oh, we've got a catapult up here. I think he's going to take that down as well. So he's going to lose some material up here. Would have probably been better off sending that catapult down to the front line. But it literally is of very little consequence. There is a big enough infantry force here. And they are making hell for, uh, for Scapo. The elephant can't get anywhere near the catapult. It's being pelted all the time and it dies just as it reaches the business end of things and this cc's it's they're doing an admirable job of uh, admirable job of keeping it up but sooner or later they are going to run out of numbers uh the ranged infantry and uh, yeah they're coming in on them i think we could see a resignation very soon they do not have the resources to build a new cc so all of these guys over here completely redundant and this cc is surely about to get taken down in fact they may even go for a capture i don't think he's got the numbers for a capture and he'd have to stop the catapult from pelting it uh this is going to be interesting. Has he stopped firing? It's going to get captured. Yes, indeed. So, and there we have it. Scapo has resigned. I think losing the CC would be one thing. Having it captured, that's a completely different matter. That is the end. Uh, let's see how that broke down. Exciting game. It could have gone either way early on. You have to feel that Scapo perhaps didn't manage... Uh, the cavalry side of things as best as he could but a uh, clear resounding winner weird jokes he kind of had that for the beginning he was always phasing up faster always had the drop on population apart from when he launched his big attack he had a minor uh, disadvantage population numbers but it did not matter let's have a look at the kill death ratio 2.34 as i said it made no real difference um he could have been losing two to one come the end and he would have still wiped out Scapo. Uh, made the expansion at the right time, phased up at the right time, got the siege out and the right siege at the right time. Scapo didn't make anything that could deal with the catapults. Uh, and didn't make anything that could deal with the bolt shooters and could not repel the ranged infantry either. So a very, very clear and concise victory for the submitter of the game, unsurprisingly, Weird Jokes. Congratulations to Weird Jokes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a comment, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. If you'd like one of your matches featured on the show, see the video description of how you can submit your replays. And if you can't wait for the next episode, then why not check out these playlists in the end titles for more replays, commentary and tutorials on Zero AD Newbie Rush. I'll see you in the next video.